Hello, thanks for your interest in purchasing Zenith, a Jeannot Lagoon 35 CCC. I'm Patrick and I'll be guiding you through this video. We've had quite a lot of interest and I thought we would compile this video in order to provide fair and reliable information to all. Our journey is shortly coming to an end. We are now in Florida, where we will empty and clean up the boat, preparing it for its new owners. This vessel was built in the US in 1996. She is hull number 2 out of 11. She is roomy, comfortable, capable, versatile and pleasant to sail. We purchased Zenith in June 2021 in the US and brought it in Canada for refit and maintenance. We left mid-September 2022 and have sailed down the US coast all the way down to Long Island, Bahamas. So here's the foredeck of Zenith and the trampoline. The anchor locker is pretty big. There's two anchors in it right now, which are both included in uh, the cell. The anchor locker also has the propane tanks locker which has a drain at the bottom. The two front facing windows do provide excellent ventilation. Both side windows have a removable sunshade. Here we see the dodger which is fully removable. Moving to the aft of Zenith, we see the 400 watts of solar power. The whole solar power system was rebuilt in 2022, has a Victron MPPT solar charger controller. Some storage, the outboard dinghy motor support, as well as the dinghy davits. Now moving inside the cockpit area, we see plenty of seating space, a custom built table, which has four cups, plenty of headroom to move around, Coming to the elm now, everything is routed directly to the cockpit. For the instruments here, we see the autopilot on the right hand side, the Tridera depth and speed and wind instrument. We have the compass, the fish finder, the VHF radio, the fuel gauge, engine displays, multifunctional display. Axiom 9 Plus, under the captain's seat there's the uh, maintenance log as well as all the emergency uh, equipment, air horns and flares and such. The maintenance log has all the information on oil and filter change, fuel consumption, water pump, impeller replacement, etc. Stereo speaker system. Now entering the galley, you'll understand why I mentioned that Zenith is so roomy. A large sink, a lot of countertop, good storage area, good seating. Both tables can be removed and set outside in the cockpit area. Here we see the air conditioning control unit, the engine hour meters, the windless breaker, the inverter switch, VHF speaker, and the electrical panel. Under the sink, we found the air conditioning unit, the charcoal and ceramic filter, and the ultraviolet water filter. Here's our first kitchen cabinet. A cabinet below the oven. The propane oven. All propane plumbing has been redone. They lead directly to the propane locker. A wooden cutting board, two drawers, and a smaller cabinet. Another cabinet next to the fridge, which has the AC unit of the fridge. A fairly large fridge 
with a rather small freezer bin. Behind the banquet, there's a fairly large storage area. And below you'll find the water tank, water pump, and water accumulator. There is also water maker filter spares and water maker plumbing for maintenance. Below the banquet seating is some more storage area. And next to it is where I've stored all my tools. The two IKEA boxes provide additional storage as well as seating for two. Here's the starboard cabin. The starboard head. After the head is a storage area, quite packed here, but I've built additional shelves. It goes all the way to the front. Here is the Spectral Water Maker. It provides 7 gallons per hour of water and runs on 12 volts using about 9 amps. It is very easy to operate. Moving on to the port side, here is the cabin. And here is the 4 port cabin. Here is the starboard bilge. First through hall here is for the water intake for cooling, the bilge pump and the float switch. The other through hall here provides water for the water maker and the washdown and the shower sump and pump. On the port side, we see the through hall provides water for the engine cooling as well as the AC unit and the bilge pump. Here's the Victron Smart Battery Monitor. It's Bluetooth compatible as well as the solar charger controller, both of which are connected through the Victron app, which provides a whole lot of information available directly to your cell phone. Very reliable, very good information here. So feel free to pause and look at uh, different stats here that I've posted. In the starboard engine bay, we see the house battery bank, the diesel engine, Yanmar 2GM20F, the battery charger, the solar control switch, the solar charger, and the inverter. Now on to the port engine bay, same engine with its cranking battery and the water heater.
the previous owners did a fantastic job of organizing all relevant documents for Zenith, including drawings, manuals, invoices, and such. I've also included some sketches that I've done. All of these are manuals or owner's manual. There's also two different Yanmar diesel engine mechanics book. These charts were very useful during our time in the Bahamas. These four waterway guide cover the entire U.S. East Coast all the way down to the Bahamas and provide a whole lot of information. I've installed this magma barbecue back in December with its own five pound tank. There's an exterior shower on the port side scoop. All right, moving on to inclusion and exclusion. After you have reviewed this video, and if you are still interested in purchasing this boat, please reach out by phone or by email so we can schedule a showing. 48 hours after showing, each potential buyer should submit a formal bid. When a bid is accepted by the seller, a deposit is made to lock the process in place. A survey can then be scheduled and completed in a timely manner. After the survey, the buyer revises his bid and makes his final offer. If the offer is rejected, deposit is returned, escrow and registration services will be provided by a licensed professional. Finally, thanks again for your interest. We look forward to meet you and hand over our cherished boat so that you too can enjoy a marvelous sailing adventure.